here. Try and get the right amount of zoom in. Um, right, I think about there. One day I'll sort out technology that means I don't have to uh, go through all of that. That's all right, Nola, don't worry. You go to bed. Yeah, it's probably completely very late where you are, so go for it. Hope you sleep well. Hi, Nicole. Good to see you, good to see you. Just going to wait for my tablet to catch up because it's being silly. Right, while we're waiting for everybody to come in, I'm just going to finish off. Um, I need to do the embellishment on top of this. So, good evening, Vicky. Well, it's good morning here. Well, it's more like good afternoon now, actually. Good afternoon. <laughs> but where you are, it's good evening. Good evening, good evening. So don't mind me, I'm just um, I'm just doing some um, sorting out of a uh, thingy. Sorting out of... Um, Oh, making an embellishment. That's what I mean to say. Hi, Karen. Yeah, it's dreary here. Well, she's brightening a little bit here, but it has been very dreary. So I'm I'm feeling you and you're dreary. Yeah. Um. Right. Don't mind me. I'm just. I just thought while we were waiting for everybody to join us, it's an interesting peel off. I would um try and sort out the embellishment for the thing I've already made, but I haven't finished. I'm a bit baffled by why I have that there. If I go for this bit here, does that work? Um, hi, Pat from Alabama. Mm, this is very strange. This is just all pieces. This is a very strange peel off. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, we'll sack that idea off then. Okay, forget that then. I'll put these away. That's not going to work. Um, hi Bonnie from South Carolina, hi Liz from Minnesota, good to see you all, she'll bring in what we're going to be making, I haven't finished decorating this yet, I want a big poncettia thing on the, on the top of it, but um, yeah, I shall show you properly in a moment, it's actually not a card for a change, actually not a card for a change, so I shall wait a moment and then we can go through what we've got. So how is everybody? How's um, your Christmas planning coming on? Those of you in America, how was your Thanksgiving? Did it go well? Did you have lots of family around? Um, yeah, how's things? How is things? I'm currently contemplating the idea that I need to be writing my Christmas cards and I need to be posting them because here in the UK, the uh, Royal Mail, which is our postal service, are striking quite a lot of days. So I'm now considering, is it worth me writing Christmas cards and sending them? Because, yeah, are they actually going to get to the recipients? Are they actually going to get to the people I want them to get to? Or are they going to get stuck in a post box somewhere? So I'm just a bit like, mm, what do I do? Do I write and post them or do I not bother this year? So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, hi Lorna, don't worry, you haven't missed anything, I haven't started yet. Hi Edwina, hi Beth and Pat, you're still working on home decor. I haven't even started to be fair, I've literally got, outside my front door, I've got like a little topiary ball, like fake, you know, fake topiary, and I leave it up all year round. It's got little mistletoe berries on it, but to be honest it looks more like just a topiary ball, it's not that Christmassy looking. But I've put lights in it, coloured lights in it. So all I do every year is I just plug it in <laughs> and then it just, it just flashes and that's happy. And then when it comes to take, you know, Christmas finishes, I just switch it off. <laughs> I leave it up all year. <laughs> that's, that's my way of doing it quickly. Um, I need to put some lights up though. I want to put some lights up inside the house. I don't do a lot during Christmas because I just don't have time. Um, yeah. So Karen, you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm glad. That's good. Hi, Elaine. Right, we'll just wait a couple more minutes and then we will make a start. You got a heat wave, Vicky. God, I wish we had a heat wave. It's freezing here. It's like three degrees. And actually, this morning I popped to the supermarket quickly. And on the way back, my car beeped at me to let me know that the road might be icy because it was three degrees. I was like, oh, wow. We might be getting snow at the weekend, potentially. They reckon maybe next week. Um... 
Yeah, Nicole. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking if I'd thought about it earlier, I could have got it done uh, end of November and then it would have been fine because I have had I've had one Christmas card so far from a, a relative. Um, but I just need to get them written and get them posted as soon as possible because it's already the what? 6th of December. I try and post them on like the 1st, 2nd or 3rd of December, like the beginning, the first few days so that I know they're definitely going to get there in time. Um, but this year I just haven't had time. Well done, Beth. Well done for getting all your decorations up. I haven't, yeah, I haven't. <laughs> That's all I can say. I've actually got a gold star light in front of me on the windowsill. And again, what I normally do is I turn that round and put it so that it faces out and again, have that on a timer. But I like it so much facing me in the room. I think I'm going to leave it in here. I'm going to count it as an indoor decoration this year, I think. Right, where are we up to? I think we will make a start. So today, I thought I'd seen a, a six by six version of this. Um, and actually, one of my craft ladies actually sent me this as a poss you know possibility for us to make in one of our classes um, a year or so ago. But I never got around to making it. Never got around to figuring it out. And then I was looking through the other day, and I thought, oh, let's give a go at this. So this is a um, five by seven fold over box gift box. And so what happens is, obviously, you unlock, you un unlock, undo this bit here, and you open it up, and there's your gift box. Now, on the original, they didn't have this bit here, and I decided that it needed it because I have made. Um, let me see if I can get it quickly. I've made this similar box to this before, and you will see it on my channel. But the thing is, I found that the lid kind of slid a bit. Blow the dust off it. So this is the box I made previously, which was actually a five by seven. But then I find that this, oh, it's all coming unstuck as well, dear me. But I find that this kind of moves. So if you had anything too small, it would actually pop out. So let me move over so you can see it. So yeah, so this is my original box. This is looking a bit battered now because it's been sat. But sometimes here on this end, you end up with this. And I don't like that. So I thought, right, if I'm doing this box, it needs to not do that. So with that in mind, I have gone ahead and changed it slightly and done it so that you have this extra bit here. So what happens is that this actually fits inside. I don't know if you can see that. It actually fits inside, inside there like that. Oh, hello. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Inside like that. And it did fit fine earlier. There we go. And then it just means that it um, it shuts properly. And then when you do your ribbon, that's not going anywhere. Like There's a tiny bit of movement there, but not much. It's not going anywhere. So that's why I thought, right, let's do it that way. Um, well, let's have a quick look at messages. Lorna, as long as you, see, you don't want snow. You don't want snow. I see, I don't mind snow. It is cold and it is a nightmare to drive in, but I like looking at it. Um, Robin, hi, Louise from Australia. Yes, hi, Robin. Um, thank you very much. Hi, Teresa. Glad you could make it. Hi, Shelley. Hi. Oh, now I see. Yeah. That's a bit worse. Uh, yeah. Hi, everybody, basically. Right. So I think we'll start with what you need for this. I'm sure we'll have some latecomers starting, uh, but I don't want to keep everybody else, you know, bored <laughs> while we wait for everybody. Um, so, yeah. So that's what I thought we'd do today. So it's quite a sturdy box uh, because you've got layers on this side and on the other side. It makes it quite sturdy. The papers I use for this, this was actually um, a pink paper pack from Craft Sensations that I think I got from the range. And then um, these papers are the ones I got from the works. The most wonderful time of the year, I think it's called. Um, this was actually an old Trimcraft first edition paper. Um, the ribbon was just ribbon I got in my stash. Um, and then, yeah. That's it. That's it. But I like the way it goes together. I am going to put a big like poncettiary decoration on the top there, I think. So, yeah, so that's what we're making. So today I'm going to be using a die from Cocorosa Studio, which is this one, which I just thought I really like it. And you can use it for all sorts. But to me, I think that looks really good for a shaker. So I'm going to do a shaker element on the top. I've already put it together because I just had this suspicion that if I try and do it when everyone's watching me, it's going to go horribly wrong. So I've actually put it together already. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment. 
But for the base, what you're going to need is, let me get my scoreboard out. Uh, oh, 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 here's my scoreboard. Right, let's just get it so you can actually see it. So I should probably zoom out a bit more, but the thing is, is that if I zoom out too much, you'll see the whole of my desk. So we'll just kind of go for that. Right, you need one piece that is seven inches by 12 inches. This is your base card. And on that, you're going to score at five inches and at seven inches. Okay, so this is like the fold over, the wraparound piece that goes around the outside. So, yeah, you could make it look a book, actually, Lorna. That would be a good idea. Yeah, you could do that. Then you want a piece that is seven and a half by nine and a half. And on this piece, you're literally going to score at two inches on all four sides. So literally two inches, two inches, two inches. And if you wanted to, you could vary the depth of this. So you can actually make it, if you don't want it to be two inches, you know, tall, and you want it to be a bit less, then just change that and obviously change the spine accordingly. So that's that one. And then you also need a piece that is four and three eighths by six and three eighths. And on this one, you're going to score a half an inch on all four sides. Uh, and again, if you wanted to, you can make this a little bit deeper if you want to. Oh, today's you've just gone off there. If you want to make it a little bit deeper, you can. It's really up to you, but you just need to make sure you keep the middle measurements. So the measurements of this middle section here and they just add on accordingly. Right. That is all of that's all of that now what you're going to do is if we start with the easy one which is this one the fold round pieces you're just going to do uh mountain folds basically on all of it so let's just do a mountain fold there turn it around and do a mountain fold there so this is your like book cover as it were so that's that so you end up with that which does look like a book cover so that's that and then if we bring in the other two pieces we'll start with this one before i fold them i'm going to go ahead and cut now you can do different ways with this but i saw someone online had done this in a certain way which means you don't end up with much wastage so i thought i'll do it that way so what you want to do is cut straight up one of your score lines till you get to the one going the other way so like that and then just cut a tiny little notch like that then turn it and do the same with this one and you're just going to do it all the way around see normally i would cut certain bits out um in fact if you, yeah you if you wanted to you could just do the same opposite but i'm going to do it all, all the way like four like i've just said i'm going to do it uh i can't see where i'm cutting there we go. Oh. Probably easy if you use a knife, a, you know, a craft knife or whatever. Um, right, let's do this one here. Oh, really can't see what I'm doing. Right. And last but not least, this one here. like that and like that there we go right so you end up with that it's kind of like a pinwheelie type looking thing i've got my bits in the thing okay and then you can go ahead and fold and burnish all of your score lines and they're all going to be mountain folds if you end up when you fold it if you end up with anything that looks a bit like it's going to overlap or whatever you can just give that a a trim so here i should really cut off that um score line really so just go ahead and fold and burnish everything i hope you guys well what i've done is i've actually gone and um you probably noticed i've changed my upload times back to how they were just because on my you know my regular my friday and sunday videos the reason i did it was because people in europe if you're available during the day but you have busy evenings like me then you then might not comment or you know whatever and i've noticed that i've had less comments with the later upload times so that's why i decided to 
put them back again. Plus the fact that 58% said they preferred the old upload times. So I thought then if you do live in a country where, you know, you get up later, the video's still up, so it's fine. So <laughs> I don't think I get still there. Um, yep, Lorna, exactly. Then you'll strengthen the size of your boxes. So this is a good way, is you know, is good for that. Um, so then what we want to do is we're going to go and you can decorate first if you want to, but I'm going to put it together first and then decorate. I just find it's a little bit easier for my brain to work. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these. You can use red tape if you want, but I'm going to glue because I know that then they're really well stuck. So I'm going to do that. Just mean that it might take a little bit longer because I need to hold it while it sticks. I've got pegs somewhere actually. Let me quickly grab a couple of pegs. You might also find that I don't know why it is. You've scored on two, two inches on all four sides, but you always end up with this little extra bit. And I never know why that is. It's very weird. There we go. The strange things, peculiarities of crafting. Right, so let's add some glue on this one. And keep going around them all. There we go. Ooh. There we are, and the last two. Put some glue on there and add that on. Also, I had someone comment um, the other day about they didn't like all the chatter in the live stream. Well, that's what live streams are for. So uh, <laughs> that's why I do the tutorial. So if you are watching this back or you tuned in and then you're just like, ah, oh, they're chatting then just um, if you just hold on, there will be a live stream for this at some point. Uh, not a live stream, a tutorial for this at some point. And that will just be me doing the tutorial. So if you don't like the chatter, don't worry. There will be just a tutorial at some point. Right. So that's that. And I need to make sure you don't go too kind of inward with it. You want it to be relatively square on the edges. OK, so that's that box done. Yep, that's that one done. I'm just going to let that dry. Right, moving on to this one. And let's say, um, if you want to trim little edges like this, I don't quite know why they do this. But for some reason it does. And I'm not sure. I'll probably end up trimming that, actually. In fact, let me trim it now. Hi, Linda. Um, we're making a book box. So let me bring it. Well, it's a fold-over box, but yeah, it's also like a book box. So this is what we're making. So that's what it looks like. And then obviously you've got a bow that would be done up. And then inside you've got space for your gift. And this bit here just makes sure that the lid doesn't slide. That's why I've done that. So I saw this on, I think it was a Pinterest post. It was a six by six, but I really liked it. Um, and I thought, oh, I might do this as a five by seven. So yeah, so that's the one we're doing today. But let me just quickly trim these bits because they're annoying me. Um, Yes, Shelley, I would definitely appreciate you who because right now I went into my local pound shop, which is where I normally get it. And they didn't have any. And I went into where else was it? Somewhere else that where they would normally have it. And they didn't have it. And I was just like, oh, no, if I can't get you who that is literally the end of the world. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have to look online, I think, for, more, for some you who, which is going to be more expensive. But anywho, it has to be done because I like you who. As we all know. Right, okay, so that's done. It's not perfect, but it will do. Once you've got all your layers on it, you won't notice. So on this one, I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to cut up here and then just slightly notch out. So again, I'm just going to do that all the way around. Um, as I say, if you want to do it the way you can, but I sort of prefer doing it this way, actually. It feels more... You don't have to think about what you've done and what you haven't done. You just keep going around. Ignore my score line where I went a bit wrong there. Right, there we go. Hi, Cindy. Thank you very much. Oh, does it? Takes ages to arrive from Amazon. Yeah, I might end up having to go down the Amazon route, I think. I really didn't want to, but it might come to that because... I'm, I'm literally struggling right now. I mean, it's bad enough that Poundland decided to make their 
the tubes are now tiny they're like half the part half the size and they were so i'm not very happy about that but um i now actually can't get it at all so hey ho now for some reason i used a thicker weight card for this top bit than i did for the other bit not quite sure why but it's just a bit more difficult to fold so i'm going to go ahead and burnish all of this and I'm going to use red tape on these tabs because they're a little bit too small for glue. Yeah, Linda, this is true. Um, yeah, exactly. And this is why I do the live streams because some people want to chat, like to chat, want to ask questions, and it's more interactive, you know. So this is why I do that. But then that's also why I also then do the tutorials. So I'm trying to make everybody happy. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that everybody's happy, so yeah. Right, so let me get my glue, not my glue, my tape. My tape out. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Lorna, you prefer to ask questions in the live stream? Yeah, and also because, like, you know, like you say, there's people, you guys all kind of get to know each other as well on the, on the live stream and say hello, and there might be a question that I can't answer, somebody else can answer, and it's just nice. Um, yeah, wedge off the side. Hang on, I'm just looking at your thing question. What if you, uh, Karen, I'm looking at your question. Uh, what if you take a wedge off at both sides of the squares and maybe put a stick over the top? Yeah, I might have to taper the tab there. I think that could be a good idea. So let me put this tape on and then I'm going to taper the top of the tab as well as that bottom section of the tab. Because then, like you say, I won't have that problem, hopefully. Good plan, Batman. See, this is why live streams are good. Because when I'm at home, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> How am I going to do that? And then you guys come up with solutions. So, yeah. I can bounce ideas off people. This is what we like. I like bouncing ideas. Because I certainly don't know it all. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um... I know, exactly, Nicole. Talking to yourself is boring. I talk to myself all the time. And the cat. <laughs> yeah, I talk to myself all the time. Right, so then let's stick this down in the same way. So I'm just going to peel off my red tape. Turn that over, make sure it's nice and square. Now with this one, you need to make sure you definitely are getting it square. Otherwise, if it bulges out a little bit, it won't fit inside that box. Right, so let's just move this over here. There we go. Good evening, Linda. Old Australia. Fabulous. Wow. I'd love to come to Australia. I haven't done I've done New Zealand, but I haven't been to Australia. I'd also like to do Canada actually as well. And that's another place I haven't done. I've done Texas. I've done Port Aransas which I presume is Texas, but it's sort of nearer to Mexico, isn't it? Uh, the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico. And that's about your lot. Yeah, well, yeah, one of, Nicole, one of my cats looks at me and is like, yeah, whatever. And the other cat is like, yes, anything you say. Just play with me, please. Uh, so, yeah. Right, so that's our main pieces all ready to go. So let's put these to one side. Let's go back to this bit here. So on this wraparound bit, obviously this is my top bit, and I've done it so that it's landscaped this way. You could have it so it's book, book way around, but I've actually done it as um, a landscape. So you're going to need three pieces of matte card that are four and three quarter by six and three quarter, and three pieces of pattern paper that's four and a half by six and a half. So I've gone and done them already. So I've got my three pieces. So one piece is going to go here. One piece is going to go in here, and the other piece is going to go in there. Now, if you wanted to, you can have all the same pattern. It's really up to you. Apologies that it's a bit zoomed in. If I try and zoom out anymore, you just get my desk. And it's actually not a messy desk this time, because I did tidy it up. But even so, you don't want to see my desk. So, let's go ahead and stick this down. The papers I'm using is an old Christmas craft sensation pad. This glitter was a crafter's companion glitter. It's like a pack of like 
I had blue, purple, like a paley pink and a green, I think, in the pack. I think it was like that. And I don't use it very often, so I thought, right, let me get it out. And it's actually quite nice. It is very thick, so this is going to be very thick. I have to say, this is going to be a very thick box. We might even have issues with it closing. Hopefully we won't, but we might. Just putting it out there in case we get to the end and we have issues. Um, don't worry, Rita. I know you've just got home. Don't worry. Uh, who else have we got? Hi, Zinia. Don't worry if you're late. It's fine. Um, thank you, Lorna. Uh, yeah, exactly, Linda. Exactly. There are lots of lonely people out there who, yeah, who, exactly. I might just, it's like when you listen to the radio. I like listening to the radio because it's just sort of like company, isn't it? So... Yeah, Port, I love Port Aransas. I went there when I was in my teens um, with my parents because we met a couple. Well, there was a family who came over from from San Antonio, actually, and stayed near where I was at that point in, near Cambridge. And, um, yeah, they invited us over. We were like, oh, yes, please. So we went over and um, it was great. Loved it because it was my first ever time on a plane. And um, it was wonderful. Really liked it. Uh, that way around. Hello, Annette from Denmark. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, it's nice paper, this. It's a nice pad. I like the fact that half the pad is kind of foiled and half the pad isn't. So you've got a nice kind of mix. And I'd quite like the red, white and blue thing as well. It's quite nice. So, uh, yeah. Right, let's stick this on. Now, I can already feel this is going to be very thick. Not waiting for it to stick long enough. I need to not be quite rushing quite so much. Oh, there we go. Stick it all down. Make sure it's properly stuck. Okay, so already you've got quite a bulk going on there. There is quite a bulk going on there. Right, so then you need two pieces that are uh, two pieces of mat that are one and three quarter by six and three quarter and two pattern that are one and a half by six and a half and these are going to go one's going to go here and the other one's going to go on the other side right i've got my zigzags going the other way but that's fine we've got a chevron effect going on right let's uh stick this one down i wonder if i should try and zoom out a little bit more because i feel like i'm too zoomed in but I feel like if I try and zoom out, I might end up with too much. <laughs> too much. Too much desk. Right, there we go. So as I said, this is quite thick. You could do with going a little bit thinner on your mats and layers than I've got here. Because it is a bit on the thick side. Let's turn that over. And this is going to go on here. We have got a nice chevron. Uh, no, I'm not a school teacher, and I really couldn't stand the children. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I'm not a child person. I'm <laughs> really not. I am not a child person. No. No, 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 no. I'm not a school teacher. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I, I really couldn't do it. I wouldn't be a nice teacher, that's for sure. <laughs> right. There we go. So that's stuck on there like that. There we are. So that's all your layers for your wraparound bit. So now if we go ahead and add the layers on our boxes and then we'll stick them all down. So the base part, which is this one, the deep one, you don't need to put anything on here because that's going to stick onto your actual wraparound in a minute. And the same with the lid, the top of the lid, you don't need to put anything on that. So your sides, you need... Uh, two pieces that are one and three quarter by five and a quarter. <clears throat> Let me bring them in. Here they are. So you've got two pieces of mat that are one and three quarter by five and a quarter, and two pieces of pattern that are one and a half by five. And then you also, for these sides, you also need two pieces that are one and three quarter by three and one quarter, and two patterns that are one and a half by three. I think that's right. Yes. I think that's right. My brain's a bit frazzled, but I think that's right. And I think I might actually use tape to stick these down. 
because I'm a bit concerned that they're kind of pulling up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use tape and hope that it sticks. Good. Hopefully it will. Let's do three pieces just to make sure. Three lengths. There we go. So, yeah. Get these on. Now, you don't have to decorate the inside if you don't want to. I am going to decorate the inside because I think that the white is going to look a bit too boring. With the box I did to start with, that double-sided card had like a pattern on one side. So I just thought, oh, I don't really need to cover it up. I might go and put another layer on. I don't know. But if I did, I'm just going to use pattern. I'm not going to use matte as well because I feel like it's going to be a bit too much. It's already quite a chunky you know kind of a box as it is um so yeah right uh vicky uh what are we making we're making a fold over box here it is so obviously you've got a bow at the front here which i've actually this is the box and then when you open it you've got obviously a nice little space for your gift um and this just means that your lid doesn't move when it's shut so that's what we're making so that's that. So um, I've done a five by seven. Previously on the internet, on I think Pinterest, I've seen a um, I've seen a six by six version, but I quite like the idea of doing a five by seven. I probably will do a six by six at some point. So keep an eye out for that. Um, Nicole, you can do, yeah, yeah. I just I couldn't do it. <laughs> I remember when my son was in nursery, like um, like a preschool, I think it was like a preschool. The way it worked was all the mums had to help, had to help out like one afternoon or whatever, or one you know one session a week or whatever. I was just like, really? The whole point of even going to preschool is that I had get some time off. <laughs> I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there with other people's children and my own. But anyway, I did it anyway. So. Um, do you put, do you gut your matte layers? No, I haven't done, but you can, you definitely can gut your matte layers. Um, I haven't done it just because, oh, it's just too much faff and yeah, but yeah, you can do that and that does help. Um, just make sure that your pattern papers are strong enough to cope with that because I have found in the past, if I've used too thin a matte, uh, pattern paper over the top, you end up with a dip in the middle mm -hmm. where you've gutted it. So just be aware of that, obviously, and just take that into consideration. If you're using these pattern papers, we'll be able to handle it because they're quite decent weight. But yeah, just put that on the radar just in case. Right, who else have we got talking? Let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Thank you, Zinia. Yeah, it's quite a nice box. I, I saw it and thought, mm, it's been on my radar to make for a while, actually, but just never got around to it. Um... Okay, Linda, we'll see you soon. Go and enjoy your walking the dog. Um, hi, Cindy. Thank you very much. Wonderful. I'm glad you've been wanting to make that. That's good. Uh, yes, Nicole, it would make a good secret stash in the book in the bookcase. That's that's true. Actually, that's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. I think I might do that. I think I might make one that's slightly bigger. Oh, no, I don't know, actually, you wouldn't need to. You just need to make sure you kind of hide the ribbon so they don't see the ribbon. Um, or maybe you just don't go around the outside of the box with the ribbon, you just put it at the like you know on the end so you couldn't see it when it's on the bookcase. Hmm. My only problem is my son does actually take books out of the bookcase to look at, so he would be like, Oh, man, why have you got chocolate in this box on the bookcase? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know who put that there. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, right, let's put this on here. I'm trying to make sure my pattern's the right way up. So I was going to have upside down holly leaves, which probably isn't a good idea. There we are. That's that. Deborah, your dad and two sisters were teachers. Wow, okay. I, um, yeah. I just couldn't do it. I really, uh, and I know my son's old school where he went last year. It's quite a rough school and uh, I really 
I, I feel sorry for the teachers. I do. I really do. Because the amount of nonsense they have to deal with, I just, I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. That is for sure. Right. So there we go. The chocolate fairy. Yes, absolutely. The chocolate fairy put it in there. Definitely. Right. So there we go. So that's the outside. I'm now going to do the inside while we're here. So from the inside, you're just using exactly the same measurements you had just now for these pieces, but you're using the matte measurements for your pattern paper. That's if you're doing just pattern. So I'm just using pattern on the inside. So I've done two pieces that are one and three quarter by five and a quarter and two pieces that are one and three quarter by three and a quarter. So they're going to go on the inside. And then this base piece I've done, I've got two pieces, one for inside the box and one for inside the lid. And this is five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And it should hopefully, I was, it goes inside, but yeah, it does fit yeah, in there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down now. So that's going to go on the inside there. And then these are going to go. Um, hide your chocolates in frozen broccoli bag in the freezer. That's a very good idea. The only problem is I don't really like frozen chocolate. I like my chocolate to be room temperature. But um, yeah, the thing is, I have I've actually snuck chocolates around my craft room. I have snacks in various places in my craft room, which is all very well, except that my son has decided that he's going to start. Well, he's actually he's caught onto this now, so he now knows where all my snacks are. So I've had to be a bit more sneaky and hide them in other places that he might not know. So <laughs> things you have to do, honestly, the things you have to do. So. See, my see, Shelley, my chocolate does tend to last quite a bit. I actually had um, a chocolate bar that someone had given me, a Cadbury Dime bar, and it was in. Someone gave it to me when I was out and about, so I had it in my coat pocket, and uh, I found it the other day, and it's a bit melty because obviously it's been next to me, and so it's melted a little bit, and I've had that for about three weeks now, so I really do love my chocolate, but I have to say I do kind of. It does kind of last. Depends on the chocolate, though, I have to say. It does depend on the chocolate. Some chocolates last longer than others. What's your favourite chocolate? Here we go. Little little um, conversation starter for you all. What's your favourite chocolate? Stick it in the comments. I like Cadbury's. Cadbury's is my favourite, I think. And Thornton's. They're my two favourites. Love a bit of Cadbury's. And Cadbury's have just bought out. I did have a bar lying around, but I think I've put it away now. Uh, they brought out a Cadbury Snowball bar. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. It's so nice. Belgian seashells. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I've had those. I have to say they're not my favourite. I, I do like them, but I have to be in the right mood for them. But yeah, I like the, uh, the, the, the prey line inside is nice. I do like a bit of prey line. White chocolate. Ah, oh, okay. Dark ones with sea salt. No, I've not tried that. Cadbury whole nut. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. I had a friend of mine and she didn't like chocolate at all. And then when she was pregnant, she had to eat fruit and nut. Cadbury fruit and nut. And it was just so weird. At her baby shower, I actually got her a big bar of Cadbury fruit and nut. And everyone was a bit confused. Like, but she doesn't like chocolate. I'm like, she does now. <laughs> she does now, people. Um, what else have we got? Cadbury, uh, Cadbury caramel. Or the big purple one. Yeah, that is nice. Um, Scoopy Mummy's done a box similar to this. Ah, oh, okay. I'll have to go and check that out. Cadbury cream eggs. Can I find them a bit too sickly? I like the little ones that come in your heroes. Is it heroes, you know, the twisted ones. I like those because you have more more egg, more chocolate to the actual, you know, filling. Galaxy. Yeah, I'm not a galaxy girl. Not a galaxy girl. It's funny, isn't it? I love my chocolate. People know me. You know, people who know me here know that I love my chocolate. I just don't like Galaxy. It's weird, isn't it? Right, so we've decorated the outside of the box. So let's bring this back in. Now, one little thing that I realised when I was making this box is that it is better to make your hole before you stick your box down. Because otherwise, uh, I, I, well, I struggled with my little hole punchy thing to get in there. Um, so what I would advise you to do is lay your box on, make sure it's nice and central. And then let me just move this back so you can see. What else have we got? Uh, I'm just reading the comments. 
Cavi whole nut and peanut M and M's. Okay. Um, yeah, Vicky. Exactly. Might well. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? He can't find his own shoes, but he can find my chocolate. <sighs> yes, this is the joy. Right. So I'm going to get my ruler in, and at three and a half inches, because that's uh, halfway from seven. I'm going to mark. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Right. Now. Well, you can see where my box is. I don't know if you, you probably can't see this. No, you can't see it very well. So where are my box is? My box is there. And I've done it kind of halfway. So if I just put, I'm going to put this lid. So that's where the edge of my box is. So I've just moved in like half an inch. And there's a, about half an inch there. You want it, you want the hole to be relatively close to the box. Because that will help secure it. So I'm just going to put a little mark there like that. And then I'm going to get my, um, and I'm going to use my, my do crafts one because I do like it. So let me just grab my cutting mat and then grab my, this one. This is really good. I really like this tool because you can punch anywhere on the page. And I'm just going to put a hole in here. Oopsie daisy, I've just moved. Didn't want to do that. Thank you. It didn't make much of a, a dent. Oh, hello. I think I might need to um, take the paper out of that. I think I'm a bit clogged up with paper. Where's that not coming out? There we go. Let me just uh, look amongst yourselves. Where's my... Oh, it's over here. Oh, there we go. Right, let's catch up on the chocolate conversations while I'm declogging my um, hole punch. Uh, where are we? Whisper. Yes, I like Whisper. I'm really, I was really glad when they bought it back. I love a whisper. So nice. Um, salted caramel. You know, you know what? It's funny because I'm not a big white chocolate fan. However, I've discovered the Cadbury caramel milk that they bought, they've started doing. And I used to, you know, like the, the, um, what was it called? There was one, there was a, a similar caramac. That's all right. Caramac, not that far off. Um, the caramac. I, I didn't like it, but I've discovered that caramel milk with pretzels, salted pretzels, is actually really nice. And even this morning, I've actually gone and dipped in. I've put a whole load of pretzels on a baking sheet and then salted ones. And then I've just added um, uh, caramel milk, not caramel milk. Yeah, caramel milk, Cadbury caramel milk. I've melted and, and put it over the top and it's very nice. Right, so let's do the same on this bit here on the top. So we need a three and a half, which is there. And again, relatively close in. Um, this punchy thing is from Do Crafts. It's an X-cut one. And it's called a screw punch. Screw punch. I'll try and link it below if I can find it. I'm pretty sure you can get this on Amazon still. Um, yeah. Is Caramac better than caramel? Okay, maybe I need to try Caramac then because I've never tried it because I always looked at it and thought, nope, that's not for me. Um, but then when uh, Cadbury's bought theirs out, I was like, oh, let me try it and see. And I'm thinking, oh, it's quite sweet. But with the pretzel, it's fantastic because the saltiness of the pretzel balances out the over-sweetness of the, of the caramel. So, yeah, I like it a lot. Right, so then we're going to take our box and I'm going to put um, glue. I'm actually going to glue this. I'm not going to use um, tape. You can use red tape. But I'm going to use this because I want to make sure I get it definitely in the right position. This just gives me a bit more time to get it in. So let's go a bit of a squidgy round with the old glue. Make sure I get my pattern the right way round. And then make sure I get it nice and straight and central. Which, when you're trying to make sure your head doesn't get in the camera, is a bit tricky. But I'm going to stand up. There we go. There we go. So that is that. Like that. Now, one thing I've just suddenly remembered. It's better to do the top bit first and then do the bottom bit. But anyway, never mind. Because what I actually did... When I did the other one, I put the top on first, stuck that down first, and then took this and put it, just laid it on top. So it was effectively like that. Oh, hello, I haven't stuck this down. 
it was effectively like that, um, but the other way up, obviously. And then I just brought the side over so I knew that it was in the right place. But I haven't done that. So we will carry on as if we were meant to do this. Let me go and stick this down, this piece here, which I haven't done yet. Stick it in the middle. The other thing as well with this box is if you wanted to, and you had a specific treat that you wanted to fill it with, so I don't know, Tunnock's Tea Cakes or Ferrero Rocher or whatever, you can actually make it accordingly to what you want to put in it. So, you, you know, you could change the measurements up. The main things to remember is really um, just whatever your footprint, you know, this bit here you want it to be, then the base you just need to add two inches on the side or whatever the height is. So, I don't know, maybe your height is one inch. So you have whatever this, whatever you need this to be, plus an inch on all four sides. And then this will be the same again, but only um, uh, a quarter or three quarters or that. Um, right, let me quickly go then through the measurements before I stick this next bit on. Um, yeah, Nicole, I can't do that because this is so small that it fits. I'm not going to turn it all the way around because I'll never get it out. So you can see how that's, because if I put that on, because it goes on the inside, if I put it on, it will just disappear. So that doesn't work. I did. I was going to do that and then realised that's not going to go. Um, okay, Rita. Yep. Yeah, watch the catch up. I will be doing a tutorial for it as well without all the nonsense chat. So <laughs> if you don't want chat, then that will be going on soon. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Jackie, you wanted measurements. Okay, so the inside measurements for this one. Do you want the, the measurements of the of the card or just the inside of there? Let me know what it is you, which measurements you want. I can tell you the card measurements if you want for the bases. Uh, yeah, let me know what you need. Um, right, so let's go ahead and stick this down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it centrally and that should be okay. That's what I'm going to do. The inside of the actual box measures five and a quarter by three and a quarter. That footprint is five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, but as I said, if you wanted to, you know, change it up, you could. And I have seen the square version. Apparently Scrimping Mummy's done one, so I need to go and have a look at that as well. Um, if you want me to do any other sizes in this, or if there's any particular product that obviously I can get over here, that I can do, you know, make out, work out what the size is for it, then please let me know and I will do my best. Um, you know I take requests always have time to do them but i will do my best if i can what is that nice and, yeah that looks i'm just sticking it on central and then hopefully let's just double check with wet glue yeah does that fit let's have a look it does it does fit hurrah excellent it does fit so there we go i actually really like that i like the way it I like the, um, I think I prefer this one to the one I first made. I'm definitely going to decorate the inside of that other box, that first one. I'm definitely going to decorate the inside of this. Because I like the red, but I feel like it needs to have another pattern. And also it covers up your tabs as well. So, yeah. And I like the fact that I've got this. I do like this box a lot, actually. <laughs> this is really growing on me. Um, the other thing you've got to be careful of, when you shut it, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Just because obviously you've got the pattern layers um, that are kind of getting in the way a little bit. But it's really nice. And I like the fact it doesn't move. This is what I like the most. Right, so now we are going to get a um, bit of ribbon. Thank you, Teasy. Thank you for that. I've got this red ribbon. This is actually Wilkinson's ribbon from Wilco's. Um, and this was, again, Swindon Ladies. Good old Swindon Ladies. We love the Swindon Ladies. Um, so I'm just going to thread that through that hole, which is actually quite a small hole for this ribbon. But anyway, we're going to carry on. I've got a bigger punch, but it's just, it's one of the hand ones and I prefer the screw punch. Now, I'm not sure how much ribbon I'm going to need. I think I'm going to need about 12 inches out the front and then similar. I've got a bit too much here, but I just thought, let me... Um, let me go a bit more than I need to go because I can always cut it off. I can't add it on if I haven't got enough. 
Right, I'm just going to keep that. Now, if you wanted to, you could stick this to the actual box. I've left mine loose just because I thought I don't want the glue. I don't want the hassle of glue. And also because I am actually going to be sticking something over the top of this top bit here. Um, so, oh dear, I've just undone it. And bear with. Let me just pop that in again. There we go. Right. Okay, so let's just do a bow. Let's just tie it up. You see how tight and nice and snug that fits? So that's why I did that, that extra bit on the top. I just really like the idea of it being nice and snug. Um, and that's another reason why I did the hole where I did the hole. Because then it's nice and snug, fits nicely. It's not about to go off places, etc. Okay, so that's that. Let me just quickly make my ends so that they are pointy. Do you like pointy ends? Let's hope my... Yeah. Not that pointy. Oh, well, it'll do. Um, I do like a nice pointy bit on the end of your ribbon. Right. So if it's not wonky. There we go. Cool. Right, so then we just need to decorate the top. Now, I have already gone ahead and made my topper for the top, so I'll talk you through what I did for it. So this is my topper. This is what I've done for the top. So what I did for this, this is going to go on top like that, and then I'm going to have a Merry Christmas on top of it like that. So this is literally, I don't know if you remember, I did an Infinity Shaker card, so I've literally done the same idea. So I got some glitter cardstock. I used this die from Coca Rosa Studio, which is like a um, it's like a backgroundy type die, like a stained glass window. If you do want to get anything from Coca Rosa Studio, please don't forget to use my codes because it will give you money off. And at the moment, they've given me two codes. You can use either Iced Twenty, which will give you twenty percent off your order, which is really good, and it's off. Pretty much, I don't think it's just dyes. I think it's pretty much everything because they sent me papers. I think it's pretty much off on anything on their um, on their site, or you can use M A S like Christmas, the must bit, uh, which means you you buy three things and you get a, a, a fourth one free. So basically, four things for the price of three, basically. Uh, but this is one of the dyes they sent me. So I literally cut it out of um, I cut it out of glitter card, a big piece, and I'm sort of. And, you know, made sure I made it big enough. And then, as you can see here, I've actually reset it back in again. So I cut it out of, um, I didn't even use sticky, actually. I didn't even use sticky. I just cut it out of the glitter card. And then I added red tape on the other side, round the outside. So it just came to that very edge. So it encompassed the die cut which then meant, and it's not straight, I know it's not straight, which then meant that I could then go ahead and stick the acetate on the other side. So, um, yeah, so that's that's good. And then I turned it over, and as you can see, I've smothered it in red tape because I don't want it coming apart. But then what I did with, obviously, the die cut, and then you've got your acetate, I then um, got a piece of card, and my piece of card measured, let's have a look, my card measured about four and three eighths by uh, five and three quarters, roughly. Um, and then I put that face down, turned all the little tab bits over and stuck them to the card, um, which then makes your seal pocket. And I did like three sides and then left one side open, put all my sequins in um, and then sealed it up. And then I've Put, gone over it with really thick red tape so I don't want it coming out um, and these sequins are gorgeous this is not a sponsored thing for the sequins these are from Lucy Abrams shop and I got let me show you the little individuals excuse my arm so I use these they're called sprinkles so I've got these scarlet circles so those I don't know if you can see them hopefully you can oh wrong way no this way no that way hang on a second Nope. Oh no, where are we there? Nope, there. There we go. So, <laughs> as you can see, so scarlet circles, really nice, but they're flat. This is what I like about them. They're completely flat. They're like sequins, but they're just little flat discs, all different color, all different um, sizes. But they're great for shaker cards because they're not, they're not, you know, they've got no depth to them. 
and then I also got the blue ones, which are cerulean circles. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that was those. I love her stuff. They're a bit more expensive than you know you might get in Dollar Tree or Poundland or whatever, but they're beautiful. There's some really, really she got some really nice ones. And then these are itty bitty stars crystal blue. These are called. I don't know why they're called crystal blue because they're not, but anyway, they're little tiny little stars, and they're very nice. So yes, yeah, so I put a little mixture of those three in my little shaker. Um, yeah, and then I just need to go ahead and stick that on there. It's a bit of a shame it covers up the stripe of paper, but you do see a bit of it either side, so that's fine. I can cope with that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. Just make sure my antelope are the right way up. They're not antelope, you know what I mean. My deer are the right way up. Um, Nicole, you've used Ice 20 in the past. Yeah, it's it's really good. It is really good. Um, they changed their so that that code, those two codes, the Ice 20 and the MAS. So you can use one or the other. Those are valid until January, and I'm not sure if it includes January or if it's until like January starts. I'm not sure. Um, I would have to double check that, but um, definitely until it was November to January, basically. So uh, get over there and have a look. They've got some really nice dyes. There's another one that they've sent me, and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And it's this one, the Happy New Year. So um, I really like this. And again, I can see this being really good with a shaker. Uh, I need to have a play with this. I'm definitely might do that in my next card. They're also sending me some more stuff soon, and I can't wait because they're actually sending me some more of their papers, and I love their papers. Oh my goodness gracious me! You will see on my haul. You will have seen my um, the papers they sent me before the Christmas ones. <gasps> so nice. My only quarrel about them was the fact that there was not enough. <laughs> I want more. I want more. They're so nice. Right, let's stick this on here. Now this is a little bit woofy, like it stands out a little bit. But that's why um, that's why I, I stuck it on the outside of the box because I thought, well, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a box. The other thing I thought you could do if you wanted to, on the lid part, you could actually cut a hole that is the same size as your undercarriage bit, you know, the bit that's just inside, and kind of sink it in. It's almost like sink your um, your shaker elements into that section so that's another option and i might do that if i do a if i do a different size um okay jackie you've got to go yeah catch up later um i will do a tutorial for it at some point as well but i'll probably do a different size for the tutorial but all the measurements will be on um the description later anyway and then i've got this merry christmas which is going to go across the top uh lorna where did i get the containers from i got these well there's two different ones actually there's two different types where's the other one is that the same no it's the same there's two different types I've got here. There's another one. So I've got two different ones here. One of them was from a craft show that I went to at the NEC. And it was, oh, I can't remember the name of the brand. What are they called? They've got like a little, like three colours or like a rainbow type thing on their branding. And I can't remember what they're called. Um, and I bought one set from there. Oh no, I bought three sets from there. Because I think you get three in a, in a pack. And it was like a pound or something. It wasn't very much. Um, and then I wanted to get some more because what I've got over here, which I'll see if I can, no, I don't know. I'll see if I can put a photo on later or I don't know. I'll, I'll probably put a post up and I'll show you what I've got. I've used a magnetic knife block um, and I've stuck them all on the knife block. And so it's at a slight angle, uh, but they're great because they're easy to get to and I can see them nicely. Um, yeah. And so that's what I've used. And obviously because they're magnetic. Yeah, every Crafts of Bargain did have them, but I remember when I went back to see if I could get some, they, they didn't have them. I was like, great, I need some. Um, but yeah, that's that's where... I can put them all back where I found them. There we go. But that's where I got them from. Um, and they are great. There's two different sizes, though. I think the range had them in them. In them? In them? Had them in at one point. Um, but yeah, they are really good. Right, I know you're going to ask me where this die is from, and I don't know is the answer. Uh, if anybody knows where this die is from, please let me know. I can't remember where it's from, um, but it is a really good die. And there's also a happy birthday one as well. So it comes as a two part die and you end up with the bit that cuts out the blue bit, which is like the background bit. And then you have the the other bit, which cuts out the red outline. Um, and it's just a really good, a really good uh, die. 
and the birthday one's really good. I think they've got some others, and they definitely do it in German as well. So if you're a German speaker and you want a German version, then they do do it as that. Right, let me stick this down. Now then, what's the best way to stick this down? I think I'm going to have to use... I'm going to use some silicon glue, I think. And actually, I might break out the... Shall I break out my pin flare? I haven't used my pin flare yet. Or shall I just use my silicon that I had before? Let me use my silicon because I've got silicon ready to go. I think silicon glue is going to be the best idea. That's the one I've got open. I need to put some pin flare in my syringe. Um, right. Now I don't know if this is going to have stuffed up the end. Hopefully it isn't. We'll see. Nice bit of blue tack stuck in the end of my nozzle there. Always good. Oh, now that feels like it's set in the nozzle. Okay, right. We'll just take the nozzle off then, that's fine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not a sight you see very often, is it? <laughs> yes, so it had set in the nozzle then. Okay, then. Righty ho. That's <laughs> Not what I had in mind. Um, okay, maybe I need to use the other one in that case because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this to work. Now, it's been a while since I've used this glue, can you tell? Right, let's see if that works. That might work. At least it came out the nozzle nice and clean. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, that's not happening. All right, forget that idea. Right, bear with, I'm going to load up my pin flare syringe in that case because I haven't done it yet and I may as well. So I bought this from the craft show I went to last weekend mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I just thought it's probably time to uh, get myself a pin flare syringe. Can you put Yuhu glue used into a fine tip bottle? No, I would not put the Yuhu glue into a fine tip bottle. It might be okay, but I don't, I'm worried. I don't think it's going to work. Um, I have a feeling it could affect the container itself. Um, it could also, um, I just don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be a problem, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, I don't really want to go down that road. I'm not going to put loads in. I'm just going to put a little bit in because I don't use this very often. Um, you haven't heard of silicon glue? Ah, silicon glue is useful. It is useful. So it's basically like a 3D glue. So it comes out, but it's quite good if you want to use, like instead of using um, foam pads, you can use uh, silicon glue. And also it's quite good. Things like this where it's a bit fine, like I've got these little letters. If I want them to stand up a little bit, then... It's useful. The other time as well that I use it is I might want this flat, but it might be that what I'm sticking it to is irregular, which I've got here. And so that's why I'm deciding to use silicon glue. So it's basically it's glue, but it's literally going to stay like, you know, 3D, as it were. Um, it's also quite useful. If you've got decoupage and you don't necessarily want it all to be just, you know, you don't, if you use foam pads, it's, it's a regular gap from the... Um, from the card to the decoupage but you might want it to um like if you're doing a flower you might want one bit to be higher than the other and so with silicon glue you can just vary how much you put on and how high it is so it's quite useful right so let's go ahead and stick our merry christmas on stick it on there like that now i could have that so it sticks up a bit i'm just gonna have it flat it's just because I've got, there we go, I like this box, it's very nice. Ah, oh, there we go people, we did it, we got there. Yeah, Nicole, exactly, it might dissolve the um, the, the bottle, that was my, I just thought I'm not going to go down that road. Um, yep, yeah, it can be used in alternative to hot glue as well, yeah, absolutely. So there we go. So there is our finished box. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's come out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, on the bottom, I haven't stuck it down. If you wanted to, you could. Um, yeah. 
I'm glad you guys like it too. I'm really impressed with that, actually. Really impressed with that. The other one, I just need to finish it off. I just did this late last night because <laughs> I suddenly thought, hang on a second, I'm doing a live stream of a project I've never made before. Maybe I need to give it a go before we go live. That might be a good idea. Um, so yeah, I need to put a, I want to put a big poncettia on the top of this. Um, and then inside, I want to put some pattern paper on the inside. I don't mind the pink, but it's just you can see all the tabs and stuff. So yeah, I want to, I want to just cover all that up. But I do quite like it. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So there's your box. So thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I'm really pleased with that box. I just need to find someone now that is worthy of receiving it. I think I might know, actually, who I'm going to give that to. I don't know. We'll see. Yes. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Also, um, obviously, you know, my memberships are up and running um, in next year, 2023. I am planning to roll out some more membership tiers uh, for some exciting things that hopefully you guys will want and will enjoy. So, yeah. Um, also, I have um, an email address, which at the moment only my members know, um, just so they can, you know, email me if they want to, etc. So that's another good reason. That isn't even in, that wasn't even mentioned in the memberships, but that is another thing that's added on. Um, but yeah, so yeah, and I'm looking as well to possibly next year doing giveaways as well. So that's another thing, another reason why you might want to be a member, because if you're a member, you'll be included in the giveaway. If not, you won't. You'll miss out. Um, but I've seen some crafters actually give away their cards when they've finished. They post them out. So that's something, again, that I'm thinking of and I'm looking at. Uh, I've got a few ideas in the pipeline. It just depends on how I soon I can get them sorted. But yeah, so there you go. So exciting, exciting times coming, hopefully. Time is the only problem, you see. This is what's <laughs> held me back so far. But uh, I'm going to try and get my act together and get it sorted. Right. I'm going to love you and leave you all. Um, and actually, let me quickly give you a quick shot at my knife block so you can see it. So there's my knife block there. If you can see that, there's my knife block. Excuse all the wires. And then I've got those little tubs stuck to the knife block. And here as well, I've got these. These, these need a new knife block. But yeah, so that's that. Right. So there's our box. Oops. Um, I'll see you all next week. Yeah, next week. Um, what I'm hoping to do is throughout the Christmas holidays, I'm hoping to carry on doing live streams, but I will probably be doing them at about seven o'clock at night. So that's the plan. Whether it works and whether I'm able to do it is another thing, but that is the plan. So hopefully I can still do live streams, but we'll see. We'll see. Right. Thank you all for joining me and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.